G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and today it's time to harvest our carrots growing in this small raised bed and it's only about a metre across and you can see by the growth that, that it is full up of all these carrots. This is a rainbow heirloom variety so all different colours and the reason why I grow it is because A it's heirloom and I can collect the seeds Although this time I'm not collecting any of the seeds, I'm not going to let any of them go to seed because when I bought the seed, I still have plenty left over. I just bought them from the local store. And I don't see anything wrong with buying seeds, of course. You've got to start somewhere. But because I have seed left, I think I'll just harvest all these and maybe when I, when I know I've got my last lot of seeds to go, I'll let some go to seed and harvest them. Right, so I love growing in these raised garden beds as you know from my previous videos. It's a small space, it's easy to weed, it's easy to maintain, it's easy to plant and it's also easy to harvest because it's just a bit below waist height, there's not a lot of bending involved. And I just love it. They grow perfectly in this type of bed, as long as, of course, you get the medium right, you know, relatively right. Uh, you make sure the soil's not too dry or it's not too claggy or clay, because either way, you'll have a hard time growing any vegetable in a bed that has a mix that is either way, either too heavy or too light, because if it's too light, you're gonna to have to add too much water to it. You have to keep adding water to it all the time and the veggies just won't grow well. And if it's too heavy, well then any bit of water or rain will affect the vegetable growth because you won't get enough air to the roots and it'll almost suffocate the vegetables and you won't get good growth either. So you wanna add a nice mix of good soil, compost, a bit of fertilizer, whether that be organic, you know, natural from your own chickens or whatever, or purchased organic stuff, like chicken pellet is good. And by adding, by having a good even mix, you're going to have no troubles growing in a raised bed. And I've said this before, people say, oh Mark, you know, you're growing in these raised beds with the sun and, and in a subtropical environment, and when it gets really hot in the middle of summer, surely you can't grow anything in them because you, they're just going to die and the beds are going to heat up really hot because it's like a big pot. And it's not the case. Raised veggie gardens like these grow terrific vegetables and it's great for older people or people with injuries or just anyone who doesn't like bending over a lot. But anyway, so you can see this bed is only about a metre across and let's see how much we can harvest out of just a metre across or a metre round in diameter raised garden bed. So when do we know when to pull out these carrots? Well come in a bit closer. My first sign of knowing that these are ready for harvest is by just looking. So get rid of the foliage and have a look. If you see carrots starting to pop out like this, well, you know that they're ready, they're ready to harvest. You can see the size of them. Of course, another way of doing it is simply pull them out. These aren't a typically great big carrot variety. Um, these are all sort of different shapes and sizes, but that's what I love about organic and different coloured carrots. This purple carrot here is a perfect example of the old style heirloom carrots that you used to get in the old days. Before everyone wanted the, the typical orange carrot that we see in the supermarkets. They, these were the original ones. They, weren't, they were all typically you know, purple. And then over time we we've become accustomed to thinking all carrots should be orange and perfect and about, you know, 35 centimetres long and uh, a, a great perfect carrot shape. Whereas this is actually quite a good carrot shape. Not all of them are going to be like this. But yeah, small, purple, full of beautiful purple antioxidants and that's why I love growing them. I and they're quite hardy. Like we're hitting summer now and this carrot crop looks terrific. So yeah, you can pull the carrot out, you can test. You can look through by pushing the foliage and you can see that. And there's one other sign that I look for and that is going to seed. If you see your carrots 
going to seed like this, this is just the start of a carrot plant going to seed. Well, what happens, what you can tell from that is that it's ready to be harvested or it's even starting to go past its harvest. And once you let them go fully to seed, the carrot below here isn't as good. This one's a white variety. Now you can see it's quite small, but that's going to be beautiful eating. But if I left that go to seed, that carrot root, what'll happen is all that energy in this root will be pop go into the seeds and this will come out into a nice big flower turn into seed, that root then will get less and less and it become very hard and crusty and it won't be very nice to eat. But at this point, I can just save that root and it'll be still a nice crisp carrot, good for eating. Now it's starting to get a little bit, a little bit harder. So anyway, once you see at least one go to seed, you know it's really time to get them all pulled out. Look at this one. Alrighty-o, so we've turned that bed that small, this small round bed of carrots into this basket full of harvested wonders. See how sweaty my face is. It must be about 100 million degrees in this hot, humid weather at the moment. And uh, I reckon if I would have left these carrots go for another maybe week or two, they would have all went to seed and they would not have been worth harvesting. Of course I could have just let them go to seed and then harvested all the seed, but that's a bit pointless when you want to grow food to eat. This looks absolutely wonderful. All different colours, some big, some small, that's what you want. Carrots like the old days, all different sizes, all different shapes, there's been some funny shapes as well. Even if you have the most friable and best soil and best interest at heart for your carrot though, you're still going to get a couple of odd shapes because what happens as the carrot's developing, it might hit a slight rock or a, a little bit of compost, a bit of a clump of dirt, and that's how you get the, the sometimes the different shapes and, the, and the, the legs and the spiral type of shapes because as the carrot grows down, it'll try to avoid those areas that it can't quite crack through. You're looking at around 12 to 16 weeks from planting the seed to harvesting them like this. One big last tip that I almost forgot to share with you guys, and that is when you do finally pick all your carrots, take the tops off them for storage. Don't let them sit out in the sun for even more than like 20 minutes or half an hour. Otherwise, a lot of the energy and the juice and the water from the root will go back into the tops. You don't want that. Rip them off and store them in the crisper like that with the tops back into the bed, dig it in, or put it in the compost heap. But you want to store them like that, and you definitely do not want to pick them and leave them sitting with the tops on, otherwise the tops will, the carrot will try to stay alive by pumping all its energy into the leaf matter on top. Carrot soup? Yeah. Carrot cake? Yeah. See how this is going to be food for all the worms and microbes? So I won't plant immediately in this bed, I'll let it rest now for several weeks until it composes down. Then I'll throw some compost on top and then start again, grow something else. And this beautiful carrot leaf will just add to the soil and keep it enriched and keep it beautiful. 
and that's how you grow beautiful healthy crops it's not just about adding fertilizer it's about having a really balanced and and good soil with heaps of live stuff in it that'll be perfect now if I had some mulch I'd put it you know sugarcane mulch or loosen put it on top of that and then it'd let it decompose down underneath all right overall you can see that I'm very happy with this harvest of carrots beautiful variety this mixed heirloom you get all those wonderful colors those different shapes and all those antioxidants and all the goodness from those old style carrots that have been grown for taste and quality rather than you know how big and orange they look this is the way to grow carrots I reckon raised bed garden like this friable soil give it plenty of water lovely harvest them just before they start to flower when they're ready and you can see them popping out of the ground yes you can harvest them early and get baby carrots you can do what you want to your backyard so thanks a lot for watching get into growing carrots you'll love it don't forget the website selfsufficientme.com and I'm going to get out of here before I melt in this sun bye for now